prepared speech, second prepared speech today is by Toastmaster Ashok Kumar. But before I invite him, may I ask a speech evaluator, Toastmaster Divya, to read out the speech objectives. Over to you, Toastmaster Divya. Thank you, Toastmaster Pongal. The purpose of this project is for the member to practice the skills needed to present himself or herself well in an interview. Over to you, Toastmaster of today. All the best, Toastmaster Ashok Kumar. To introduce Toastmaster Ashok Kumar, Toastmaster Ashok Kumar is a multifaceted past personality, a blogger, a singer, a traveler, a movie, movie buff, and an environmental enthusiast. Wishing you all luck on earth for your speech. Toastmaster Ashok Kumar, my Toastmaster's journey. My Toastmaster's journey, Toastmaster Ashok Kumar. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Pongal. Uh, before I start with the actual uh, role play, uh, a timer you can wait for a couple of minutes. Uh, let me explain about this uh, project. This is at uh, level three. It's an elective project for all the parks. This will be very helpful for people who are actually trying for an interview. Uh, but today I am going to try for area director role. Uh, in the past, five years back when I uh, became an area director, uh, there was no such uh, panel or interview and all. It was like the division director called me and asked me a couple of questions and then said, okay, uh, fine, we'll, we'll go ahead with you as area director. But now in the last two years, if you see, uh, before selecting the area director, they are forming a panel and uh, the panel asks questions to the prospective candidates. So we are trying to uh, do that as a role play. Toastmaster Sudha has kindly uh, accepted to be the interviewer. She'll be part of this uh, role play. And in fact, uh, she has come up with uh, questions out of which uh, so it's not like a surprise question for me. The project also does not uh, need it. Uh, the questions are known to me and I have prepared the answers for that. And of course, she can deviate a little if uh, required. Yeah. With this background, we'll start the interview. Toastmaster Sudha. Good afternoon, Toastmaster Ashok. Good afternoon, Toastmaster This is Sudha Raju. So congratulations, you have been shortlisted for the selection of the area director. So Toastmaster Ashok, we would like to have a small communication with you and ask a few questions. So the first question would be, can you tell us about yourself and your Toastmaster's journey? Yeah, uh, thank you for considering me, uh, Toastmaster Sudha. I've been a Toastmaster from 2012. I have uh, held several uh, leadership positions, uh, both at uh, club level and uh, district level. At club level, starting with SA, secretary, vice president membership, vice president education, and uh, president. I have played all these roles. At district level, I have played uh, area director and uh, division director role. I had been a club sponsor and uh, a club coach. I am a Pathways mentor. I have uh, participated in several uh, speech contests and won some awards as well. I have delivered educational sessions on several topics in over uh, 25 clubs across the district. Thank you. Oh, that's really wonderful. It looks like you're overqualified. Anyway, so can you share any special experience or the roles played by you in the Toastmasters? Uh, yes, Toastmasters. In 2017, when I was the area director for the first time, one of the expectations is to charter new clubs. Despite my best efforts during my role as area director, I could not charter even a single club. Subsequently, in the next year, I went ahead and became the division director. At the time, I worked with all my area directors. I continued our efforts. Finally, we were able to charter six new clubs. Four of them were community clubs and two were corporate club, clubs. That was 
an achievement that is close to my heart. I enjoyed that very much. Another experience is when we had our uh, division conference, somebody suggested that we should invite a transgender as the guest speaker. So I discussed that idea. I was open for it and I discussed with my uh, area directors. And then finally, we contacted Madhumita, who is a who is a first transgender HR professional in India, and uh, she came and delivered a fantastic uh, speech for thirty to forty minutes. That was good. Another experience I cherish is uh, when I played the role of master mentor in our club, Emerging Leaders Toastmasters Club. It's not a recognized role in Toastmasters. You don't get any credit, but we had this role to organize the efforts of all the mentors in our club. As part of that role, I initiated goal setting process in our club with the support of all the mentors. All the members set their goals. That was the initial success. Some members worked on their goals and achieved them, but not many. But we went ahead and uh, I spread this process and knowledge in several other clubs with the support of distinguished Toastmaster Srivatsan and uh, several others from other clubs. Though it had limited success, I cherished it and enjoyed that uh, initiative. That is again close to my heart. Thank you. Okay, so Toastmaster Ashok, you had played multiple officer roles. Uh, so now I would give you a situation. If there are some conflicts in your uh, club among the XCOM officers, so how would you resolve that? Okay, thank you. We all want a conflict-free world, but then we cannot escape from conflicts. Conflicts are part of everyday work. I will not go into any specific conflict situation, but let me share my general approach to conflict management and resolution. Whenever there is a conflict uh, between members or uh, club officers, I will try to listen to both the sides because every conflict has two sides and I will talk to both the sides and try to understand their uh, viewpoints. I'll also try to make each side to listen to the other side's viewpoints. Uh, during the discussion, some new ideas may come and that may resolve the situation. If it still continues, probably agree to disagree would be the best approach as long as these conflicts do not lead to personal conflicts or impact personal relationships. That is the only thing I look for. This is how I, uh, I manage conflict. Thank you. Okay. So one last question I would like to ask you. How would you develop the area as an area director? Okay. One of the thing, one of the requirements is that uh, I should visit uh, all the clubs. So before that, I will talk to the club presidents and understand their um, strengths areas of improvements. Uh, when I visit those clubs, I will also observe. Uh, of course, today online meetings are there. I'll be able to attend all the meetings. Uh, I will uh, observe for myself uh, about their strengths and uh, areas of improvement. I'll also find out the best practices that you, they use in their uh, respective clubs. I'll try to propagate that in other clubs. Second priority will be about mentors. Uh, I will find out if uh, all the members in the clubs are uh, assigned mentors. If there are no mentors or there is a shortage of mentors in some clubs, I will talk to other club presidents and the VPs to assign mentors to those people. If required, I will go beyond the area, beyond the division as well. Third one is about organizing education sessions. I will provide support personally as well as I will recommend uh, educational speakers in the topic, topics such as pathways, evaluations, uh, humorous speeches, or leadership opportunities in the district and the like. 
these are the things I want to do as part of my AI director. Thank you, Toastmaster Sudha, for giving me the opportunity to explain my uh, position. Thank you, Mr. Ashok. So your interview is over. We'll let you know the results shortly via mail. Our second evaluator, Toastmaster Divya. Toastmaster Divya is a is a HR by professional, and she is a proud mother of two adorable daughters with a strong belief that everything happens for good, and the universe has a better plan than we do. Please uh, put your hands together to welcome our second evaluator, Toastmaster Divya, to evaluate our distinguished Toastmaster Ashok speech. Over to you, Toastmaster Divya. Thank you, General Evaluator Toastmaster Jay Vandarasi. Congratulations, my target speaker, uh, DTM Ashok Kumar. You are selected and you absolutely are. Uh, this project, uh, honestly, is a piece of cake for DTM Ashok Kumar. You know, I've noticed his table topic uh, speeches. Uh, you know, it's a child's play for him. So imagine if you give him an opportunity to frame interview questions, give him time to prepare and come up with responses. No wonder he crushed it. The questions were meaningful. Uh, it gave him scope to articulate the great deal of accomplishments that he has made in his Toastmasters journey. I think kudos to that. The answers were concise. One trap that I always notice in interviews is sometimes, you know, you tend to be repetitive. So I think he did not get into the trap. He was natural. His answers were not repetitive. I understand the depth of his answer is also because of the wealth of experience that he has in Toastmasters. One thing that I really admired in the entire way it was done is, uh, you know, the modesty in his responses. He had all the scope to be a little flamboyant. He could have been a little more, uh, uh, little more blowing his own trumpet. But you know, he was modest in all his responses. Modesty, I think, is the most underrated but an important aspect when it comes to interviews. I think you know he has done it really well. And um, I noticed, uh, um, you know, uh, I think see the art of giving an interview without making it look like you know singing your own price is, is something that really needs to be appreciated and uh, kudos to you sir and uh, the other aspects uh, that i would like to rate or the clarity was a five on five vocal variety i don't see a lot of scope in this project to for you to have exhibited vocal variety so i wouldn't want to rate you on that gestures i think uh, though it is an interview you have some scope to have had some, uh, you know, hand movement and all of that, but I didn't quite notice it. So, so I would probably, if you think it is something that you'd like to do, I would encourage you to practice on that. Comfort level was just amazing. You were at ease, poise, five on five, an impromptu speaking. Uh, I, from what I understand, this is a rehe rehearsed or a, a prepared speech. I am not sure if any questions came to you impromptu. But then you sounded at ease. You, you did not make it look like artificial. So it was very natural. I think it was an amazing interview. A special mention to Sudha, who has done the interview so well. I think this project is 515 uh, DTM Ashwin Kumar. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. General evaluated. I'm sorry. Thank you, Toastmaster Divya. 